what's up? I'm Holly and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do a trending topic again that was on YouTube. It is of course would you rather. Now I've had a few questions selected for me so I haven't read them before and I'm hoping none of them are too savage but if they are I guess it makes for a good video. So let's just jump on into it and see what the questions are. I'm already pretty nervous about this as it is as I'm a pretty indecisive person. Decision making is not my forte whatsoever. So let's just jump on into it and see what questions we have. Would you rather join the Avengers or join the Justice League? Uh, <laughs> this is a pretty good question because I obviously love Marvel and DC. From going by the movies, um, the Avengers obviously have the better movies, but like comic wise, I mean, I'm, I've always been a DC fan, I'm not gonna lie. I love like the dark kind of superhero vigilante thing. I just love it, it just does it for me. So I don't know whether who to join. And what character would I be if I was joining? This is, this is all too sudden, right? I don't know what character I am. I don't know where I need to be. I'm not, I don't know what power I'm gonna have. Avengers, I don't know if there's like a cool person I wanna be. Like, for the Avengers, if I was joining them, I'd obviously want to be Captain Marvel because she's like a badass and saves the day. But if I were to join the Justice League, I mean Wonder Woman, she's like, she's on it. She is hot. Oh, this is really tough. I think I might join the Avengers because they have a bigger squad and they're like, they're very much like family to each other and they're just so like on it with each other and like they have such like funny banter where there is like, the Justice League, they don't really have banter, they just kind of like, oh, we're off to save the world, or oh, we're off to do this, or whatever they're like, they kind of like throw, like characters that are thrown together. So I think I'm gonna have to say I would rather join the Avengers. Would you rather burp confetti or fart glitter? <laughs> I mean, they're both pretty similar. Either way, you're in for a real sparkly time. I do burp quite a lot anyway, I was gonna say, I think I burp more than I fart, so I probably would say burp confetti, but wouldn't that just be super messy? Anytime you had like some sort of flatulence issue, you would just like, sparkles were like just flying around everywhere. It'd just be complete madness and you just have to carry around a dustpan of a brush everywhere you would go. I think I'm gonna go with burp confetti, just because I would imagine if you're farting glitter, it'd be quite itchy coming out of your butt all the time. Would you rather spend the rest of your life as a creepy clown or never be in the sunlight as long as you live? Oh man, that's tough. Clowns really freak me out. So anytime I'd look in like the mirror and see my reflection, I'd be like, ah! Ah! Um, oh, clowns are so scary, but I love the sunshine. I'm definitely like someone that loves being in the sun and just wants to be outside when it's hot and nice. But at least if I, I was a clown, then I could be in the sun. But I would scare everyone and no one would want to come near me. If I was never in the sunlight as long as I lived, but even if it was hot and warm outside and the sunlight wasn't directly on me, could I still technically go outside? Because it's quite the conundrum. I think, I think I'm gonna say never be in the sunlight as long as I live, because I think you could find a loophole in that and still be outside if the sunlight wasn't directly on you. Does that make sense? I'm like looking around like who am I answering to? Like my acrylic makeup box or the wall? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go as never be in the sunlight ever again. Would you rather live without TV or live without music? If you'd have asked me this a couple of years ago, I probably would have said live without TV because I was massively into music. Like I was always at festivals and gigs and shows and like all my like Spotify was just like rammed full of different bits and pieces. But now I think from being with Oz, we do watch quite a lot of movies and a lot of TV series together. So I probably would say live without, mu live without music now because I found so many TV series and so many movies I love, I don't think I'd be able to give that up. And I like to watch things to fall asleep now. I didn't, I wasn't ever like that before, but now I like having the comfort of watching TV before I go to bed. So I'm gonna have to say live without music because I don't think I could give TV up. Would you rather have the power to read through any mind? Oh, okay. But you'd have to listen to your family's thoughts everywhere you'd go. Oh, that's quite creepy. Like imagine if like 
I don't want to know what my parents or my siblings think about. I think my sister would be like, ah, oh, makeup, oh, um, what drink am I going to drink this weekend when I go out? Or like, what skirt am I going to buy? I think she would be fine. But I don't think that I could listen to my dad because he's like so obsessed with like old cars and things. I think like his whole mind would be on cars. I'm not sure what my brother would think about. And my mum, like she's a pretty crazy person as it is, so I don't know. But I would have the power to read through any mind. Like I would know what anyone was be being able to think about. I am sure, again, I'm sure you'd be able to find a loophole with this. Like I'm sure if you could read through any mind, but you'd have to only listen to your family. I'm sure you could develop some sort of barrier or like you could like switch off so you didn't have to think about that. That's some sort of X-Men crazy shit. I'm gonna say Yarrow yeah, Wood just so I could have the power because I think it'd be so interesting reading through people's minds and knowing what they actually think about things. So I would rather have the hindrance of listening to my family in my head, but just to have the power of listening to anybody. Oh my God, could you imagine what you could do with that information? <sighs> Crazy. Oh, it's a Harry Potter one. How exciting. Would you rather spend a week in Azkaban or as a prisoner in Malfoy's basement. Well, we all know that Azkaban is the worst prison in the world because of the Dementors. They were, do you know, when I first watched Harry Potter, I was so freaked out, I was shaking because the Dementors, like, I don't know, like that, when I envision like a nightmare, the Dementor is kind of what I see. Like, I'm like Harry, like I was just like, <gasps> Dementors are not for me. And Azkaban is like, with all like the crazy, crazy wizards and witches and like you don't know what they get put through in that prison because it they all say like it's the worst place you'll ever want to be and it's like on this like prison on a cliff in the middle of the ocean with dementors flying around and other dark wizards and stuff like patrolling you and like probably torturing you and things whether as if you were just a prisoner in Malfoy's basement like the the elves can't they they can have um is it disapparate? Evaporate? Disapparate? Is that what it is? When they like, they just flick in and out of the room? So you could probably get saved by Dobby or one of the other elves um, if you were a prisoner in Malfoy's basement. So I probably would say the basement one. And plus, am I the only one that thinks that Malfoy's quite fit? I mean, he's not my usual type. I don't really like the blonde hair blue eye thing, but He's quite hot, isn't he? There's something a little bit hot about him. Like the, the strange kind of hot. Like the hot that you know that you're not supposed to fancy and you kind of do. Would you rather drink a gallon of mustard or a gallon of ketchup? Mustard's quite hot though, isn't it? Like it's quite burning. Or is that horseradish I'm thinking of? No, 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 it's mustard as well, isn't it? Or a gallon of ketchup. I mean, equally are both gross. But I am a ketchup person, so I'd probably go with the drinking the gallon of ketchup because mustard, like, you don't, there's so many different types of mustard as well. You don't know what mustard you're gonna get. You can get like a super hot mustard and you can burn all your throat and everything. You gotta keep drinking it until you finish the gallon. So this is a pretty easy one for me. I think I'm gonna go with the drinking the gallon of ketchup. Would you rather change gender every time you sneeze? or not be able to tell the difference between a muffin and a baby. Who comes up with these things? They're so damn stupid, like a muffin and a baby. For right now, I could, I could not have me looking at Ravenna like she's a muffin, because then I'd be like eating my own baby. But to me, the changing gender every time you sneeze kind of seems quite appealing. Like you'd, you'd obviously be able to change back, and I, like, if Ravenna wasn't a baby and she was more grown up, I probably would have said the muffin one because I'm not, none of my friends have babies and none of my family have babies. Ov and I are the only one out of our family and friends that have a baby. So I wouldn't be like, I wouldn't be seeing muffins everywhere. Um, but for now, because Ravenna is a baby, she does really, really heavily, she does really heavy, she does really heavily influence my answer for this. So I'm gonna say ch changing gender every time I sneeze because I think that would be quite fun as well. Like I think everybody always wonders what it's like to be the opposite sex. Like if I was a guy, I'd do like so much weird stuff. I'd probably just wear all of Ov's clothes and like be like, hey everybody, what's up? I'm Master Ov. Oh no, no, that was completely wrong. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Master Ov here. Do you like Pokemon Go? Do you like this? 
Well, we're about to play it in today's video. Stay tuned. Peace out. Would you rather be a pencil or a rubber band? Oh, well, I wouldn't want to be either. But if you're a rubber band, someone could snap snap you and if you're a pencil someone could break you these both have terrible outcomes but i mean if you're a pencil at least you'd have a rubber on the end of you if you're elastic band you're literally just one hoop so you don't really have much to offer somebody apart from like you'd wrap around things like with a pencil at least you can color and rub out and why am i trying to justify this i probably picked the pencil would you rather be able to fly or turn invisible Right, I've never actually said this to anybody before, but if I was a superhero, my dream would be like one of the X-Men characters. I think it's in the second one with the boy with the angel wings. Like my dream would be able to, would, my dream would be able, my dream would be to have angel wings so that I could fly. So this is a really easy one for me. I mean, being invisible, I that's a really cool power and I think a lot of people would probably have picked that one. But I would love to fly. I think it's like the inner bird in me. Like, I'm a sparrow, so I want to fly. I just, that's the power that I've always wanted to have. So it's an easy one for me. I've, I've always wanted to fly. Would you rather spend your lifetime being homeless or spend your lifetime in prison? Now, from what I hear from different like documentaries and news articles and things like that, Prison is not actually bad in some places. Some people get like their own TV and they get like their own clothes like sent from home and they get like, you get like cards, you get to phone your family every day and you get hot meals. Like if you're homeless and you're on the street, you have no money, you're outside when it's cold, wet and windy. You have no one, you have no one to talk to, you have nothing. But at least if you're in prison, you have a roof over your head and a hot meal. So that's a pretty easy answer for me and I'm gonna obviously say lifetime in prison. Would you rather party all night, sleep all night? This, what is this? This is so easy. In my youth, I'm not actually old, but in my youth I would have said party all night because I was crazy back then. Um, obviously it would be to sleep all night. Even if I get like four hours sleep, but like, that's a dream come true to me because Ravenna's obviously up in the night and she cries. And between that and Ov's crazy snoring, like, oh my God, I have to record him one day. Actually, I might do that for one of the vlogs. I'm obviously gonna say sleep all night. I don't think I've had a full night's sleep since Ravenna has been born. And yeah, party all night. Like, I'm not as young as I once was. I don't need to party anymore. I've got a life and a family for that now. Would you rather be a ninja or be a pirate? I don't think I would be the pirate because I don't want to be on the sea all day and all night. Like that sounds like a bit of a nightmare to me. So I think I'd rather be the ninja anyway, just because they, they can fight and they can throw those like little star things and, get, and they have like cool knives and they've got like a black outfit and they like hide everything. And they're so mysterious and they're like, what? So I'd probably be the ninja because that looks and sounds way more badass. Would you rather go to prison or eat a dog do you have to eat the whole dog or is it like you have to just try the dog because it doesn't actually say a whole so we found another loophole here i mean if, if i just had to try dog meat then i would probably pick that but if i had to eat the whole dog i'd probably say go to prison because you don't know how long you're gonna go for so you can take that answer as you will but i have an answer to each question so Take that as you want. And the final question is, would you rather be forced to watch a movie you hate over and over again for a week, or be forced to listen to a song you hate over and over again for a week? Probably the song, because like with a movie, like all you'll see is the movie and all you'll hear is the movie, like going on in your head. With a song, over time, like you're not thinking about the music anymore. It's just the music will eventually fade away. So I'm gonna say the song one because I always listen to some pretty horrendous songs anyway, like over and over again in the car. And I just deal with it. So this sounds like my normal life anyway. So I'd probably say pick the song answer. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel and the Sparrow Squad. Until next time guys, lots of love. Mwah.